How you doing everybody? I'm Mitch Merritt again with the second installment of some uh, country licks. Today we're going to talk about double stops. As Steve put it, nice and cheeky little double stops we're going to go over today. So, they can look and sound kind of easy, but they're actually kind of tough. So again, it's a combination of my fingers, kind of clawing with these two fingers, and you picking conventionally with your normal pick. So, down in the, uh, the second position, in the open position, I'm going to do this in the key of A for you. And uh, here's the lick here. So, it's a pretty quick little lick. I'm going to kind of break it, I'm going to play it slowly, and then I'm going to kind of break it down for you. So you can see that I'm kind of uh, fretting down my first finger against the second fret here. I'm kind of doing a combination of uh, hammer-ons here with my pinky. So I'm going to start on the fourth string, and I'm going to be hammering on to the fifth fret with my pinky. And then I'm going to claw the second and third strings to give me that C sharp and that A. So I'm kind of alternating back. happens there. So it's kind of like a, I guess technically you could say it's a bit of a mixolydian lick because I'm playing the G here, which in this uh, scale of A major is actually a flat 7. So I'm kind of adding that flat 7 in there, which is uh, always kind of uh, your typical country note in there, or blues note rather. <laughs> get it going you could get it sound pretty cool. It's also very movable because I don't really have any open strings so So I'm in the uh, C going up to a D and back to that A. You can also start to fool around with it a little bit. Now I'm getting a little more dissidence in there a little bit. I'm adding the F sharp to it, the sixth going into the flat seven of the G. So I'm just kind of changing it a little bit. Instead of adding, instead of hammering on from this note, I'm hammering on from my third finger here. <laughs> the C position again. So I'm covering the A, the C, and the D. So that's your double stop lesson for this episode.